the Chrissy Swan Show. Oh, it's Friday, Jack. How bloody good does it feel? Are you? Uh, did you wake up this morning and in the mirror you're going, Eaton's cheating, Eaton's cheating, Eaton's cheating? <laughs> no, I didn't. Why should I? Do you know what it means? No. Have you never heard Eaton's cheating? Eaton's cheating, like yeah. as in if you're trying to be skinny. No. Eaton's, Eaton's cheating is from like the 80s or 90s, I guess, where if you really wanted to get bang for your buck in terms of drinks that you buy at the pub. Oh, you wouldn't eat. You don't eat as much so that it works better. See, I... God, I don't know whether I should be saying that, but I thought everybody knew no. what Eaton's cheating is. See, I'm all about with my mates. This is where I am responsible when it comes to booze. I'm like, guys, we've got to line our stomachs. Even a bowl of chips. Yeah. Oh. Because I don't want people to go home early. Like, I'm such a stayer and I make people stay the whole night that I'm like, we've got to line our stomachs. I love that you're, like, keen on that only for your own interests. <laughs> Benefit, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, well, I uh, I am not going to be uh, hitting the booze at all uh, on the weekend. I'm going to be walking. Of course, because you're doing your Fred Hollow's big run I slash walk. I sure am. And I have hit... I. I pledged to do 150 kilometres, right? Normally I do 300, but I brought it back so that everybody could have a go, you yes. know, and achieve it. What is the date? It's like I've still got 23rd eight, of August. eight days to go or something, yeah. I'm at 134.5 kilometres. Smashing it. I have smashed it. I might up it a bit. No, anyway, I'll think don't. about it. If you would like to walk with Swanee or if you have been doing Fred's big run slash walk and you'd like to update us... It could be very worth your while, darling, 13, 24, 10 right now because Specsavers may throw in five grand I mean, on your behalf. Unbelievable. The Chrissy Swan Show. You're listening to The Chrissy Swan Show on Nova and I am walking up a storm. Specsavers need your help to end avoidable blindness in First Nations people. Donate today to the Fred Hollows Foundation at hollows.org. We're running, we're running, we're running. Chrissy Swan's. Five for Fred Fridays. Oh, yeah. What's better than a normal Friday? It's Five for Fred Friday. Right. Also, in that opener, Swanee, do you yeah. know whose voice I think that is that I love? Tom's yes, nodding at I me. I think it's that, um, that person that I was questioning the other day. No, Becky Hill? Yeah, Becky Hill. Oh, I thought it was Jess Glynn. Oh, maybe it is. No, maybe it is Jess Glynn. No, or you say it's Becky Hill. Hill. She's got a vibey voice. Yes, she certainly does. You could run to that or walk to that. You absolutely could. And I have been spotted out in the wild just this morning. Somebody slid into my DMs and said, did I just see you um, in the wild? And I said, yes, I just had my nails did and I went and got a, a focaccia from Laurent. Oh, yummy. What so did you get in the focaccia? I was, tuna, it's my favourite. Oh, in a focaccia? Ew. I know you don't like <laughs> it, but it's specifically my favourite there. I feel like I'm living, and I also feel like I'm living when I am chalking up those kilometres for Fred Hollow's uh, foundation. It is such an amazing cause. I'm so thrilled to get behind it every year. Alicia, how many are you pledging to do? Uh, well, so far I'm doing about um, 16 to 18 kilometres a week. Whoa. Doing from um, school. With my daughter. Well, this is very impressive. I'm impressed by it, and the Fred Hollows Foundation are impressed by it. But you know who's the most impressed by it is Specsavers. And they're so impressed that they are pledging $5,000 to Fred's Big Run on your behalf. Oh, well, that's fantastic. How good is that? But keep up the case. Mm-hmm. Keep up the case, yes, baby girl. There's eight days to go. Let's Seven. go to Jane. Hello, Jane. Hello, guys. Excuse me, did you have a knee replacement on Monday? I'm I'm having it on Monday, oh, so I God. can only do not as many as I would normally do. That's all right. How um, many are you going to do? I'm going to do 25. That is heaps. Wait, after your knee replacement, Jane? No, no between I'm now. Between now and I've, I've oh, started. Yeah. So I've only got a couple more Ks to go. You're amazing. Um, but I just... Thought it was a great course, so I thought I'd do it. It sure is a great person. course. <laughs> really ruin that knee before surgery. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> completely wear it down to the bone. Spec Savers is going to chuck in five thousand dollars on your behalf, which is great. Thanks. And if you, if you maybe you're like Jane and you have already had a knee replacement, and you just want to throw some dollars in, head to the uh, win page, the Nova Win page, yes, and you can very easily chuck in a couple of dollars for this amazing cause. Online at novafm.com.au. Let's finish. Finish with Sally Swan. Spec Savers has got another five thousand dollars burning a hole in their pocket for the Fred Hollows Foundation. Sally, how much are you committing to? Oh my goodness, I'm so honoured. Um, I'm committing to a hundred kilometres this month. You are amazing. What are you up to? Because we've only got a week to go. I know. So I'm already at eighty-five. <gasps> oh my god! Week, or by the last couple of days, 
and I just know I can eat it. I know, I know I can you can. It. I know you can. And Specsavers know you can too, and that's $5,000 they're going to put there. Thank you so much. Thanks. So proud. How many kilometres have you done for this amazing cause? Oh, it's not about me, Swanee. It's about you and all the amazing listeners yeah, no, and the how stuff many? they're doing. Oh, like um, 22. 22 metres from the couch to the <laughs> television. <laughs> hey, speaking of television, yes? TV's Night of Nights was last Sunday. Larry Emder won gold, and we want to check in with him and see how his week's gone. I want to see if he's sobered up. I want to see how his <laughs> butt cheeks are feeling. <laughs> the Chrissy Swan Show. At Priceline Pharmacy, you can simplify your online shopping experience with Click and Collect. Order online, select Click and Collect, and within two trading hours, your items will be ready for pickup at your local Priceline. It's that easy. Head to Priceline.com.au. The Chrissy Swan Show. This time last week, we did not have the uh, the best Gold Logie winner no. ever in the history of the Logies. <laughs> and we have him now to check in how the last week has been. Hello, Larry Ember. Yes. Hey, you guys. How are you? So good. I was beside myself when you <laughs> took out that award. So was I. <laughs> so was I. So that was, was the, the biggest room. shock. So was the room. Of course, I wasn't invited this year, but Jack was there for reasons Jack still unknown to me. <laughs> yeah. And he said that you were a very popular choice. Oh, that's very kind. It was it was a huge surprise. I honestly went into that thinking I had zero chance of that. And I um when I heard my name the first time for the Sylvie Luggy, I was like, well, wow, that was that's kind of fun. And I didn't have anything prepared, and I uh, so I probably screwed it up. I. Uh, it was. I'm still buzzing, actually. Yeah. Like I, I, I got up this morning, out of bed, went out into the kitchen, and there's two funny little statues sitting on the kitchen table. I'm like, it's still the like twins. A dream. The Can twins. I tell you, I won a logie I many, know. many years ago, I know. and I, I saw it this morning. Actually, it's on a like a mantelpiece in a room that I don't go into very often. But I was sorting out a cupboard as I'm want to do at the moment, right. and I caught a glimpse of it and. All anew, I was thrilled with it. And I was like, wow, yeah. that's a real-life Logie. And and how relatable are you that you've got a room in your house that you don't go into very often? <laughs> <laughs> like, that's... I've I actually, wish I could say... <laughs> goals. I've, I've actually got a few of those. <laughs> <laughs> the bank is enjoying my repayments. Let's yeah, put it that way. Yeah, yeah. Larry Emder, the latest uh, Gold Logie winner. Can I please put you through a tight five? I would... Love you to do. Fabulous. Tight five. Now you've got a silver and a gold. Yes. Hitherto referred to as the twins. <laughs> yeah. Where are they going to live? I just don't know. Uh, Sylvie wants to melt them down and make jewellery. Uh, so either that, or I'll put them on the mailbox so everyone walking past knows <laughs> that how fabulous how fabulous I am, or on the bonnet of the car. I actually make it a necklace. I don't. I, I haven't. I don't know. I always I know. thought if I ever won another one, which, you know, chances are now zero, I th- I'd like to make them into a hot and cold tap. Yes. That's not a bad idea. Yes. She's got a or- lot of spare bathrooms, Larry, so that can, <laughs> that can happen. <laughs> or maybe on a motorbike, like the handlebars of a motorbike. Yes. I'll come up with something fun. We'll do something fun with them. All right, great. Yeah. Can't wait to see it. Now, on the on the big night, on TV's Night of Nights, what fragrance yeah. were you wearing? Oh, uh, it was a Chanel kind of thing. Bleu? Chanel bleu? I thought you, I thought you just farted. I know. <laughs> um, he just spewed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, no, I, you know what? I'm going to say I don't exactly know. There's sort of like just a row in the bathroom and I just sort of grab one. You need to find oh. the winning scent though, Larry, because that'll mean something. Yeah, that's true. I'm going to come out with my own scent. Yeah, true. Yeah, now Logie's you, sweat. You would, <laughs> <laughs> you would have received so many text messages over uh-huh. the last week, Larry Emder. Who yeah. was the most famous person that said to you, bloody well done? You know, I got a beautiful text from Daryl Summers, which I really appreciated. Philip Brady. I got a text from Philip Brady. Oh. Like all these people, were, you know, these guys who were legends uh, yeah. when I was growing up and people that I really admired. Uh, the most beautiful series of texts from Patty Newton. Oh, um, I love Because when, when she realised I was up for the Burt Newton Award and she knew how much Burt meant to me because when I was growing up, he was Mr. Television and yeah. Mr. Variety and mm. all singing, all dancing jazz hands. And I uh, have admired that man since day one mm. in the business. 
for me, and that was very, very special. He was magical. Now you're just waiting on a message from Pete Smith and John Deets, and you'll have the yeah. full set. Yeah. <laughs> now, which celebrity at the Logies was the most disgracefully intoxicated? Okay, it's such a heavy story. I can't tell you his name, okay, yeah. but I can tell you that it rhymes with Ant Middleton. <laughs> He was tearing now, up the dance floor. Now, you guys have to put that together yourself because for legal reasons, <laughs> I can't give you his whole name. But That's Ant fair. Middleton at Rhymes with Rhyme. And that. he was, I don't know, he, he'd, he, he'd had a couple of, maybe a couple of beers or something, but he, get, he gets very huggy yeah. and yeah. He, he loves being up close and he's a terrific guy and we're <laughs> great mates. But I'm like, but he's, he's holding me in a bear hug, shaking me around the dance floor. And my, I'm 60 years old. I can heal my hip, my hip popping <laughs> and my neck popping. <laughs> is, he, uh, is he one of those drunks that turns into a one millimetre ear hole whisperer? Yeah, well, he's that, to <laughs> st- he's that anyway. You know, he's a, but I love it. And it's great to spend some time with him because you go, he, you know, he is the nicest guy. He now, really is. Before, and, we, before we let you go, uh, yeah. just onto your uh, second lot of twins, your matching tattoos on your butt cheeks. How are they going? Are you bepanthening them? How's it, how I, is it? <laughs> they're, they're pretty good. Although I can't see them, so I have to get Sylvie to report on them. But apparently <laughs> apparently, they're settling in nicely as a, all the uh, all the nominees' initials on my butt. Beautiful. Talk. Larry, congratulations. And I would like to apologise to for drunk calling you on Monday night with Sam Payne. But I do want to put something out there. Because at yeah. this time last year, Swanee and I predicted and sort of manifested that you would get nominated yes. and win this. I have a new prediction for next year. Oh. Yeah. That you will host the Logies <gasps> and steal that crown <laughs> yeah. from Sam Pang as best host. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me think about that for a minute. No. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Larry. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Love you Bye. guys. Thank you. Love you, mate. The Chrissy Swan Show. The Chrissy Swan Show. Friday. How good. Let's go clicking. Chrissy's Clickbait. A couple of things. I'm ashamed that I clicked on something. And I know that that's the whole point of clickbait is that they get you. I've clicked on the ch- the child photograph of the child of famous people, and you know how I feel about that. I know, but you're still allowed to click on it, like Mia Hewitt. So her mum is Beck Hewitt. Oh, a, a legend. A legend, man. I loved her on Home and Away as and a kid. And her dad is Leighton Hewitt, the tennis player. And I don't know why I clicked on it. Do you know why? I wanted to see if she looked like her mum. And does she? No. Okay. Does she, she look like Leighton? She is the most magnificent creature I've seen in a long time. She looks like an extra from Almost Famous, that legendary film that I'm desperate oh, yes. for you to see. I'm looking at these photos now. She almost looks like a Heartbreak High kid. Like, she's cool, man. She's really cool, but I feel bad because she didn't ask for this. Yeah, okay. You know, her parents are famous. I just feel very strongly that she should be allowed to just walk the streets and do whatever she wants and that I shouldn't know what she looks like and I shouldn't have any interest in what she looks like. It drives me crazy. But it's just natural human nature to but be But that interested. doesn't mean, as um, as our friend Chapel Roan says, that doesn't make it right. It doesn't, but I think it's just how it is. Yes, but I know it's how it is, but it doesn't make it right. She is, um, I was just reading here though, Swanee, she's uh, uh, in a band. She's really No wonder cool. she's a vibe. And I'm, I'm so glad that Graphic Tees are back. That's all I have to say Yeah, about you that. rock a graph. Now, graph this is sort of clickbaity, but also not because it's IRL. Cosmopolitan is back. How good. Do you remember, like, did your mum used to buy Cosmo? Absolutely. And it was always a, a nicer mag, wasn't it? It was an iconic mag. Oh, it's a, well, nicer. It was always a bit saucy. But, like, it's not, like, in terms of trash, Women's Weekly, Women's Day, the way they'd report. Women's Weekly's not trash. I mean, nowadays it kind Women's of Women's Weekly's is. the only good one. All the rest I'm, are shit I'm thinking of Women's Day. Women's Day and New Ideas trash. Yeah, yeah, they're trash. Yeah, Women's sorry. Weekly's good, the only nice one. Right. And Cosmo is saucy. Yeah, right. Listen to this. This will bring back memories. What am I doing now? Oh, the sealed section. Unsealing it. I it's love got a seal. it. I don't know what's in it. It's got a picture of a... Glossy mouth with a cherry in it, so you know it's oh, good. Hello. It says, "Ask me anything." What is the best way to slide into someone's DMs? Oh, come on! We can do better than that. We can do better than that. This is the magazine that brought us Jack Thompson, the legendary Australian actor, reclining on a bearskin rug, hold, rug holding his own bits and pieces. Wow! 
Um, ba, 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 ba. Oh my god, I wanted something involving discharge for God's <laughs> sake. There's absolutely nothing. Anyway, tones and eyes on the cover. I had a dream, looking like the name. weight of the world has I been taken off her shoulders. Look at the lightness in her face. She seems so happy, Swanee. And even seeing her at the Red Room a couple of weeks ago, she's just a different person. That pink concert's really changed her life too. It's nice. It has, and also I think she's People are appreciating her art and her mind, and I think she didn't have that for a long time, and that would make a massive difference it to would. a creative person like her. Well done on Cosmo as well for putting her on the cover. Yes. Like, that's a correct sense check. Correct. This is the Chrissy Swan Show. Oh, yeah, the weekend. So close, but even closer is Ricky Lee, Tim and Job. But you've still got us Yeah. for another hour, and before... The hour is through. Someone else is going to have a crack at this amazing Barley Beats holiday. Chrissy's Barley Beats holiday. It's you and three friends, which I absolutely love. And we should say it's going to be announced on Wednesday next week, the winner. So you've still got a chance to play Monday, Tuesday next week if you want to register via the Nova Player Make app. sure you do. My now, first international trip, Swanee, was to Bali, and I spent most of it with you in 2017. I remember that you were there, and I was so happy to be with you, but I didn't know it was your first... Yeah. I'm going to find a photograph. There's a photograph of us at Sea Circus, which, by the way, is the best place for a ceviche. Um, you look about 11. Proper. Like, proper, proper toddler. Yes. <laughs> and then we went to, what was that really cute homewares shop? Next Kim to Sue. Kim Sue. Kim Sue's still there. Great is table it? of cakes. Yes, I love yes, that. indeed. <laughs> yes, make sure you register via the Nova Player app for that. Next, though, Chrissy's Quizzy. The Chrissy Swan Show. It's Friday, fun day on the Chrissy Swan <laughs> Show on Nova. Let's give away a bum bag. Chrissy's Quizzy. I'm particularly excited about this weekend because I've got absolutely nothing planned as usual, but I don't even have organising to do. Oh, you can actually just exist and live. Yeah. Without touching a container. I don't even know what that's like. Hello, Emily. Hi, Chrissy. Hi. Happy if, Friday. Oh, and to you, what have you got planned for the weekend? Oh, not a lot. I've just got the kids and all their sports and everything. Hey. Emily, you-, you don't actually yeah. have to do that. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> no. <laughs> Will, are you Wait, doing... Can I just say, Chrissy, yes. I have loved and watched you since the Big Brother day, so I'm just so excited to be talking to Emily, you Emily, you today. don't sound old enough to have been watching television all the way <laughs> oh, back I then. Oh, I'm oh, that's, 41. That's really kind. You've got the bum bag, Emily. I'm sending it to you. <laughs> hey, Absolutely. Emily, speaking of Big Brother days, remember Jamie Dormer? Jamie Dormer. Did he have a Terry Towling headband? Yeah, the blonde dude. He came up in oh. conversation on the weekend. Oh, my God. No, Jamie Brooksby was his name, sorry. And he was on Big Brother on Cut and... Everyone's got one funny name that they remember, yeah. like Galen. Do you remember Galen? Galen? Yes. <laughs> hey, Will, you're playing against Emily. What's on this weekend, mate? Oh, uh, not too much, you know, just the usual weekend thing. Partying. Are you, uh, partying? <laughs> partying? You're not going to put all your important stuff into different containers, Will, like I do? I, I don't really like organising things. I'm more just like having them sit where they sit. Come on, you mate. <laughs> Good on you. Get into the quiz. I do the boy thing, you know. I, yeah. I just find it where it is. I agree. I do the same, except it's in a container. Question number one, the lineup. Oh, your names are your buzzers. It's best of five. You know the drill. The lineup for Music Festival 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 BTV was announced early this week. Can you tell me one of the acts that are performing? We spoke about it earlier on in the week. Oh god. I mean, we were after the sugar babes there because we wanted to enjoy uh, push the buttons, but Yeah, and we're going to anyway, aren't we? For me, boy, you gotta push the buttons. Totally underrated band. Absolute tune. Question number two. Which wiggle is always having to be woken up? Emily. Emily. Jeff. Yes. Wake up, Jeff. Question number three. (laughs) Which pop star has this week fronted a Skims campaign? She's a brat. Emily. Kim Kardashian. Yes. Kim Kardashian. No, no. It's it's a pop star that has... Skims is Kim Kardashian's brand, but there was a, a singer that... Was in the campaign. Katy Perry? She's a total brat. Charlie XEX. Question number four. Which country are you visiting if you are at the (laughs) Taj? Which which country are you visiting if you're at the Taj Mahal? (laughs) Will. Emily. 
Yes. India. Well, India. Yes, that's one a piece. Question number five. What kind of food is penne? Emily. Well, Pasta. Yes, yes, it is. What's the score? It is two points to Emily, one point to Will. Question number six is for the win, Em. What type of animal is a Komodo dragon? Will. Yes, Will? Uh, lizard. It is a lizard. Okay. All right, it's, um, <laughs> what do you call it? It's a tiebreaker. It's a tiebreaker. Co- the the tiebreaker is, from which direction like does the sun rise? Will. Yes. Emily. No. No, we, sorry, Will got Will. in first. Will. It does rise from the east, Will. Oh, no. No, but Emily, you already got the bum bag just from saying nice things to me. So and you both oh, get okay. it. Will, Very we're generous. sending you one as well, mate. Thank you so much, guys. The Chrissy Swan Show. The Chrissy Swan Show. It's time for this. Chrissy's Correspondence. Every time we do this, it feels like a million years since we've done it. It's only been a week. It feels I, like a million years. It does, but to be f- Fair, Swanee, I don't think we got to it last week. So really? that's why it does feel really well. Oh, there you go. My well, spidey senses have kicked in. Of course, this is where we check all our DMs and our letterboxes and all sorts of things for in Chrissy's correspondence where you write to us. Please do. You can find us on Instagram. Uh, hi, Chrissy. You recommended a pizza oven. This is from Angela. A while on your show, Father's Day is coming up. Can you tell me what it is? Well, I'm thrilled to tell you I absolutely can. It is. It's from Mini Max and it's a red one and it's called the Mar- Master Pro Ultimate Pizza Oven in Red, and it is on sale at the moment for ninety nine ninety five. Bang! Cooks a mean pizza. It is so Crispy. great. It is so great. And if you get it, call me and I'll give you some other tips and tricks. Hey, Chrissy, Lizzie has uh, slid into my DMs. Love your show. Thank you, Lizzie. What was the name of the book at the top of the pile of optimism? The pile of optimism is a stack of books that I never get the time to read, yeah. but just looking at them makes me feel smarter. And I spoke about it the other day. It is on the top of the pile. It is called The Burrow. It is by Melanie Cheng. Now, I have not read it, so I can't endorse it, but it looks lovely. It's got a photo of a bunny on it. Cute. Now, Swanee, we've got some real-life correspondence that came to Vicky at reception. IRL. That box over there from a beautiful listener called Tessa. Oh, my God. Hi, Chrissy. I'm Tessa, and I've been listening to you for a few years and also watched you on Big Brother. Can you believe that was over 20 years ago? Nuts. Um... I, we just went to Bali and I bought you this gift. Oh, my God, what is it? Oh, God, for a minute there I thought it was a boogie bag. <laughs> <laughs> I wish Chappelle was still oh living there. Oh, my God. <laughs> what is that? It is. Have you never had a chitato? No. Oh, my God, you know how yesterday I was banging on about the greatest chip of all time, but the, the greatest snack. I was very specific. The Cheeto. The greatest snack is the Cheeto Crunchy. The greatest chip is the Indonesian chitato. Really? Do you want one to try one? Yes, please. Oh, my God. Tell you who loves these, Jane Hall. Have one of them. You will lose your mind. They're like a ruffle and a Smith's crinkle cut has had a baby. Oh, yeah, they're a different density. They're like it's so young. good. Thank you, Tessa. I hope you ate your weight in chitatos as well while you were in Bali for the first time. Now, before we get to some negative feedback, we're going to balance it out with some positive feedback from Christy. Just when I thought I couldn't love you and Jack Moore, you do a segment on honest and authentic yawn pokers. I'm <laughs> bloody dead. It. You know what? I do not like a yawn poker. That's the end of the story. On to a bit of negative feedback, Jack. Are you ready for it? I know you don't like it. I love it. Just wanted to call out the comment last week in the Chrissy Swan Show about Quentin Tarantino being ugly. He is. Ugly jokes are so old hat, not funny nor clever. Please do better. We're trying to raise kids with kindness and substance. These comments on the radio don't help. Respect where respect is due, please. Your thoughts and comments on that, please? Because you're the one who said it. I reckon I did not. You said it. I you reckon you it. should go first. No, I made you say it because yeah. you said it off air. And because, I made you say it. Well, I'm sorry. And I appreciate that we're, we always <laughs> spread kindness 99% of the time. But it's real life to have... Um, For the record, I said he has an unfortunate floppy mouth. And I called him ugly. I'm sorry, (laughs) but I stand by it. And we will be back after this. (laughs) (laughs) The Chrissy Swan Show. Let's do this. Mamaka by Overlo. Good soul, good times, good vibrations in Bali. Book at overlohotels.com. Chrissy's Bali Beat. I just love saying Mamaka Overlo. I was going to say, what a sick name, Mamaka. Mamaka Overlo. And if there's a cocktail called the Mamaka, you could have Mamala, M- Mamaka Overload. Good, Swanee. I very, like very it. Very, very easily. And flights there are thanks to our mates at Virgin. How good. So fabulous. Hello, Shana. 
Hello, how are you? I'm so good. Do you love barley? I do, I do. I've been a couple of times and it's amazing. So amazing, but it's not going to be as amazing previously as if you get this prize. It will be amazing. Exactly. Who would <laughs> You're you getting take married. with you? Um, yes, I'm getting married at the end of the year. Very exciting. So who would you take with you if you won this trip? Well, obviously her husband. I want to- <laughs> well... Um, I was going to take my bridesmaid. <laughs> <laughs> Strong answer. Have you got three of them? Because this prize is for you and three. I do, yes. <laughs> well, this is perfect. All righty. What we're going to do here, uh, Shana, is play a song, a barley beat that you would listen to when in Bali, but it's covered in sounds of barley and, like, bushes in the background. Yeah. You need to buzz in, though, and tell us what the song is in the quickest amount of time you can, all right? Okay, thank okay. you. Take it away, Shana. I have no idea. I can't even hear it. <laughs> oh no! It's one of my faves. I can't hear it. Sorry. <laughs> Nothing, uh, Shana, nothing. nothing. No, I can't even hear it. Sorry, it must be a bad line or something, but I can't even hear it. <laughs> sorry. Oh, no. It's yeah. Fred again. Okay. Adore you. I'm so sorry, Shana. Register via the Nova Player app if you'd like to play again on Monday or Tuesday. In fairness to Shana, it did sound like a, 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 a duet between a seagull and a pigeon. <laughs> I could still make out the song, though. Yeah, so could I. <laughs> the Chrissy Swan Show. But first... Chrissy's Clickbait. I mean, I had forgotten that Happy Gilmore 2 was coming. Full stop. I didn't realise it was coming. No, I knew... When I read this headline, I was like, oh, yeah, well, I knew that it was coming. But even better or worse, I want your opinion on this. Adam Sandler has confirmed that Major Sturd, Travis Kels, Kelsey, uh, still don't know. I think it's Kels. Kels. I think it is Kels. Travis Kels, also known as Taylor Swift's soon-to-be husband, I think, um, is going to make a cameo in Happy Gilmore 2 after mentioning it on his podcast. What can you tell us about a Happy Gilmore sequel? It's good. It's good. Like, we worked hard on the script, man. We're excited. So many of the golfers are being nice and they're going to be a part of it and all. Do you know Travis Kelsey really oh, yes, wants yes. to be part of this? Yes, yes, yes. He, Let's talk he, about he it. Was, yes, yes. We have a nice something for Travis. He's going to come by. and Very nice guy. You guys would love him in real life. What a big, handsome guy. And... See, what a big, handsome guy. And it is Kelsey. They just said Kelsey. It's got to be Kelsey. I know, but then someone else clarified and said it was Kels on his podcast. So there, I, I, I think the person that clarified it was him or his brother. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I think you're right. It was Kels. That's in, I wonder what he'll do on Happy Gilmore. I wonder if he'll speak. I mean, there's a photograph of him there with the golf club and all that sort of stuff. He looks perfectly made for Fresh. it. The first Happy Gilmore, I don't remember, and I've just realised it's because it was released in 1996. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe it's that old. Yeah. I didn't love it. I don't, it was just a bit stupid I don't, for me. Yeah. I know that it's iconic and all of that. I would say I'd go back and watch it, but after watching Adam Sandler and Cleek, I just can't stand the dude. <laughs> really? Yeah, like cannot I think stand also, him. Also, from memory, Happy Gilmore's got like a really short fuse, and he gets angry and bashes up things, and not for you. I don't know. It wasn't for me. Yeah. No, that sort of stuff scares me. Sounds like it's for Trav. Though. Tell you what doesn't scare me, and um, it is Travis Kelsey slash Kelsey's girlfriend Taylor Swift. Of course, I've listened to all four albums today and um, <laughs> I let my streamer go, my my music service go, go, go and then it throws up other things that you like. It gave me this. It's me, hi I'm the problem, it's me What? An acoustic version. Everybody so I was listening to Midnights and then this started. If you need to find it, if you need to inject it into your veins, you can find it under if you if you search Taylor Swift acoustic anti-hero. And this one. Oh, I miss us playing this on the show. This is a tune. The background sounds like Dolly Parton's Jolene. It does. I was up to 
my neck in containers in my bathroom <laughs> organising it and I just lost my mind. So that is my gift to you on this Friday right before the weekend. Do we think they're engaged? I've seen a couple of people asking Dermois, the Instagram celebrity gossip account. That ge- Dermot generally knows moments before we do. And they've sort of implied she is. Wow. <gasps> That's this us done. Big. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel up next. We will see you Monday. Have a beautiful see weekend, ya. Swan. Now check this out. The Chrissy Swan Show is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.